Hey everyone, I'm Joe, and I'm an IT specialist here at Nagios. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to monitor a network switch using Nagios XI. Monitoring a network switch with Nagios XI is critical to ensure reliability and performance. This helps to take issues such as high traffic, port failures, or even hardware malfunctions before they impact operations. By tracking switch health, you can proactively resolve problems quickly, reducing downtime, and maintaining a stable network environment. Come on, let's dive right into today's tutorial. The first step we want to make is to make sure that we have the IP address of the switch you want to monitor. When on XI, you want to head over to the left hand side, hover over the gearbox, and click on Configuration Wizards. From here, at the top of the search bar, we can search up switch, and the network switch slash router will come up. So the first field that wants us to enter the IP address of the switch. So I'm going to do, 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 do. Awesome. And then beneath that, we have the port. The default port is 161, and then we can leave it at that. Beneath, we have our different types of SNMP required to use the network device. If you use SNMP v3, it asks for more information as SNMP v3 uses encryption and heavier authentication. I'm going to leave it on SNMP v2. Uh, beneath this, we have monitoring options. So here we have interface reference style. This determines how the monitoring engine will find the interface base ports, so it'll just I'm gonna just leave it at port number, but there's port number, port name, port description, and port type. Again, this is all up to you what you want your settings to be. Beneath this, we have our monitoring scheme, which determines how the services will be named that come along with the switch. I'm gonna use that, or I'm gonna keep that as use interface reference style. And then here we have scan interfaces and administratively down interfaces. I'm gonna leave these both checked for demo purposes. And then beneath this, we have bulk configuration. Bulk configuration is if you have multiple devices with the same port bandwidth and desired alerting thresholds, we can paste each configuration as a CSV down below. So here down below, we have each field. So I'm gonna leave the rest of these as ignore but the other options include hostname, username, auth password, priv password, auth protocol, and priv protocol. And then here in this data box, uh, just like the examples are shown, uh, this is where you'd want to enter those extra IPs. Beneath this, we have our default values. So these are just some thresholds that we have. So input rate, if it reaches 50%, you'll get a warning threshold. And then if it reaches 80%, you'll get a critical threshold. Same for output rate, warning is at 50% and critical is at 80%. Uh, these numbers are changeable to whatever you want it to be. So if you want to get a warning threshold, let's say at 60%, and if you want to get your critical at 75% instead, beneath this, we have our default port speed. I'm going to leave this at 100 megabits. Once this page is fully configured to your liking, you can scroll back down to the bottom and click next. Here, it brings us to a completely different page. So at the top, we have our host name. This is what the switch will display as in XI. So I'm going to name mine uh, switch testing. Uh, beneath this, we have our services. So this specifies which services we want to monitor. So the default is ping. Um, this monitors the switchless router with an ICMP ping, useful for watching network latency and general uptime. Beneath that, we have our bandwidth and port status. Uh, these are all the ports on your switch. Each of them have the rate in, rate out, rate in, and rate out. And if it's not megabits per second, then you can change it to gigabytes, kilobytes, or bits per second. If you don't want to monitor a specific port, then you can just uncheck it. If it's not checked and you want to monitor it, then again, make sure it is checked. Um, and then you can also name each port. Uh, as you can tell, it goes down in order. So it starts with port one and they're all the same. And then just some other information. We have port name, port description, port Elias, and then max speed for that port. Um, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to click next. Here we have some check intervals. So under normal circumstances, 
Nagius XI will monitor the host and service every five minutes. This number is customizable to your liking. If it's something more critical, we recommend putting it down to a lower number, such as two minutes. And then the bottom box is when a potential problem is first detected, Nagius XI will recheck the host and service every one minute up to five times before sending a notification. So if, for example, your switch is getting a warning threshold right now, but it's not actually fully going down and it's just bugging out for a second, then XI will recheck the host and service every minute up to five times. And then when it hits that fifth time, and if it's still down, then it'll send you a notification. So if it's something more critical, we recommend changing this down to two or three times. Uh, again, this is all preference based. Uh, this page is configured, so I'm going to click next. Here we have notifications. So the default is send a notification immediately, but this is customizable to your liking as well. You can scroll down to the bottom when this page is configured and click next. Here we have desired host groups. I'm gonna leave this default as well, just for demo purposes. And then we are on the final settings. So now we can click finish and apply, and it will take a second just for it to configure fully. Awesome, so our configuration was applied successfully and we are officially monitoring our network switch using Nagios XI. If we wanna view the status details for the switch before we head off this page, we can click here. So now we're on our switch details and here we can see that our switch is up and the status for some of these say pending and the only reason it says pending is because it's just getting all the information as we can tell on the right side, service check is pending. Check is scheduled for a certain time. So when it reaches that time, oh, there we go. And it worked. So as we can tell, port 10 bandwidth, and it is okay and up and running. And you are officially monitoring your switch. And that's it. You're officially monitoring a network switch using Nagios XI. I hope everyone was able to follow along super easily with me. If you have any more questions or need additional assistance overall, you can visit us at support.nagios.com. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment any more videos you'd like to see regarding Nagios products. Thanks for watching and happy monitoring.